Welcome back, guys. So if you're new here, we are currently going over the solid principles in programming. Uh, this video is about interface segregation, which is the I in solid. So continuing on my from my previous videos, uh, let's go over interface segregation. So what is it? What does it mean? How do we use it? How do we do it? Right. So interface segregation is just a fancy way of saying split your interfaces up. And an interface is nothing but a contract between the class and, well, the interface. That's really all it is. It's saying you must have this functionality inside of your class, right? That's what an interface is. So here's, here's an example of interface segregation. So in my previous example, we created a superhero, but then that superhero became a supervillain, right? So that's where this came in. But now, Let's talk about the super interface. So with this super interface, you are able to fly, right? But what happens if you wanted, uh, I don't know, if you wanted to create a, I'm sorry, if you wanted to create like a super car, right? So let's just create a class. Let's call it supercar because we want a supercar. And this is going to extend the car class that we originally created above which drives and opens the door so now we have a supercar okay but here we want it to have some super features right so here we're going to say hey it's going to implement a uh, super interface which is pretty cool right so now what's happening is we're forcing the contract we're saying this super interface requires that it flies. So now the car has to fly. So here we're going to say return. I am a car flying, right? So now this car is flying. So we have this one interface, right? And it's abiding by the same super interface. So let's just say this car, we wanted to, I don't know, we wanted to go uh, at hyper speed. So some really, really super fast car. So down here, we're in the super interface, we could say something like hyperspeed. So now we created a function called hyperspeed, but we run into a problem when we do that. So what is the problem? The problem is now the super interface has hyperspeed and it flies as well. So this hyperspeed is now going to be required in the superhero and the supervillain class. So they're both going to have to have hyperspeed but we don't want that to happen, right? So this is where interface segregation comes in. So we're gonna take this hyperspeed, we're gonna remove that, we're gonna create another interface, and we're just gonna call this the speedy interface, okay? So here is where we can add this hyperspeed. So now, how do we actually add this hyperspeed? So the way we would do that is we would take the speedy interface and in this supercar class that we created, we're going to also implement that interface as well. So it's gonna it's gonna implement the super interface and the speedy interface at the same time. Then we can add a super speed function. And here it's going to return a string. We're just gonna say, I am going at super speed, okay? And I'm calling it super speed, but it's called hyperspeed. Sorry. So let's just retype that in. So instead of super speed, we're just going to get rid of that and call it hyperspeed. My mistake. Okay. But that being said, what happens is the interfaces were basically separated into two. Now we can give flying functionality to the supercar, and we can also give it super speed functionality to this car. And if we wanted to use it, we can just come down here and say const supercar equals a new supercar. And then we can actually start calling the functions from here. So we can say something like supercar dot, and it can either drive, fly, use hyperspeed or open the door. So let's just say hyperspeed, right? And let me get rid of this one for now. Once we run it, boom, I am going at super speed. So that is an example of 
interface segregation and why it's important. If you like what I'm doing here, make sure you subscribe, make sure you follow, uh, hit that like button, hit the notification so that you get notified whenever I create a new video. Uh, happy to have you guys here and you know I hope to see you in the next video where we'll be doing dependency and version of control. Thanks for watching guys.